Not only is she here to make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, she is hunting hairs. It's Michaela. We're looking at gun makers on Gun Makers Row at this year's Game Fair. Plus there's hunting YouTube, plus there's new stump. Welcome to Field Sports Britain. Michaela is back at the Inkulu Private Game Reserve in South Africa's Eastern Cape and with 50,000 acres to hunt on the possibilities are vast, open and slightly sweaty. Yes, it means trekking and stalking for Michaela and her PH or professional hunter, but she will have to save as much of her energy as she can as the hunt is going to be a long one. She is going to be up all night as well as up all day today. Later on she tries out her PH's lamping skills. For now, she is focusing on one of Africa's most important animals. It's another day in South Africa and in Kulu. Today I got another PH. And we are after wildebeest. So let's see what's gonna happen today. We will start to walk and stalk in another area in, uh, in Kulu. And I hope we will have a successful day. There are two species of wildebeest. The blue wildebeest, or brindled gnu, can be found on the plains of East Africa. Michaela is after its southern cousin, the black wildebeest, or white-tailed gnu. Both make good eating. Accompanied by her pH, Michaela sees a lot of wildlife on this hunt. Not necessarily a good thing, as wildebeest are renowned for using other wildlife to spot predators. One animal, however, is not so lucky. Every chance that one will end up in the Czech equivalent of Ashton under line. Now, as the old joke goes, night falls pretty fast in Africa. We are just preparing for a night hunt. I'm not sure if we will be able to get any footage, but we going after Jackal and all other pests on a farm. So we will see what's gonna happen. It looks as though it will be a productive night as things get going quickly and Michaela gets her first hair in no time at all. First animal we harvested here, it's this spring hair. And uh, yeah, it's just the start of a night. I hope our night hunt will be more successful. Hares take easily to crop breeding and eat sweet potatoes, groundnuts, pumpkins and the shoots of maize and wheat. Now for every, anyone that wants to know why we are shooting them, um, we are using them to catch problem animals, for example, like the catacombs. So we do use them inside cages to catch them. I mean, let's keep going. We want the jackal as well. Yes, we still have to get our jackal tonight. They don't see a jackal, but they are rewarded with a good view of one of Africa's shyest nocturnal animals. This is an ard wolf, which poses for the camera before continuing on with its business, looking for a certain species of termite to eat. They really have everything at Inkulu. For more information, go to inkulu.com. Little known fact about ard wolves, they can kill and eat up to 250,000 termites in a single night as can David on the Field Sports Channel News Stump. This is Field Sports Channel News. 
Feral pig hunting in New Zealand is this summer's surprise smash movie. It is a bit, buddy. It's easy to get lost. You lost? <laughs> I'm amazed how lost you are. You little bastard! <laughs> we got no choice but to camp out here for a few weeks. Hunt for the Wilder People is about to open in cinemas in the USA after breaking box office records in New Zealand. It tells the story of an urban kid raised on hip hop and foster care who gets a fresh start in the country with a new foster family where they survive eating wild game. BBC-funded anti Chris Packham is trying to stop Marks and & Spencer and Iceland from stocking grouse meat. With the UK's Hello. grouse shooting season Hello. less than a month away, the wildlife campaigner with the new romantic hairdo has released a plea for his supporters to email Iceland and Marks and & Sparks and get them to stop stocking grouse. Or you can use the addresses to send them emails supporting their grouse sales. It's up to you. There will be no further restrictions on lead ammunition in the UK. Environment agency DEFRA has rejected what it calls flawed reports from a group led by Basque, which argued for restrictions. In a letter to lead ammunition group chairman John Swift, the Secretary of State confirmed that the Food Standards Agency will not be changing its advice on the consumption of game shot with lead ammunition. Anti-badger colours are especially gloomy this week. They mark the appointment of pro-hunting, pro-badger cult MP Andrea Leadsom as DEFRA secretary by posting her mobile phone number online and recommending their supporters call her to express their views. And finally, the new craze to hit the internet is hunting. Unfortunately, it's a hunting video game called Pokemon Go, where players use their mobile phones to track and hunt virtual creatures called Pokemon. Animal rights groups PETA has set up Pokemon sanctuaries. Seriously. So many normally sedentary people taking to the great outdoors has led to car accidents. One Pokemon hunter fell down a mineshaft and several have been mugged as the Pokemon led them into dangerous districts. Real hunting is so much safer. You are now to date with Field Sports Channel News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts. Thank you, David. Now, the game fair is back, and one of the reasons we all go is to see the shiny new guns on Gunmaker's Row. Here's a preview. The London gun trade is thriving. Best London guns are selling like hotcakes. And since the currency markets have slapped an extra 10% off, the gun makers have been doing even better from buyers overseas. This, uh, the new Sporter is um, 28,000 including VAT. For a best quality cyber side, we're looking at 45,000. And the best quality side locked over and under, you'll be looking at about 65,000. Atkin, Grant and Lang are three names from the heyday of London gun making. All had shops in St James's, as did Boss & Co. In 1812, Thomas Boss established Boss & Co. We are makers of best guns only. Um, in 1891, John Robertson owned the company and he invented the over and under and the Boss single trigger, which today we still make. Um, we are makers of best guns only, we make uh, rifles over and under and side by sides. The Joseph Lang part of Atkin, Grant and Lang was founded nine years behind Boss and like Boss, innovation is the key to its success. We have a new sporter, it's on a trigger plate action, it's a side plated gun, we've just completed the pre-production gun, um, we have a set of ten which we are currently in um, the CNC stage. Uh, we have orders for five, which is uh, yeah. very exciting for us. It's predominantly a game gun, although you can shoot sort of modern clays with it. The, the whole design brief was purely um, going to be a actual sporting stroke game orientated shotgun. That tends to be the trend nowadays, is um, people moving from the traditional cyber side to the over and under. So what is it that attracts people to London guns and makes them pay these prices? It is not just the heritage, it's the work that goes into them. The new Sporter is approximately six, six months, about 200 hours, um, a best quality English gun over and under and side by side. You're generally looking at about a thousand hours, so between 18 months two years. It all, it all depends on engraving patterns and styles uh, and the customer's requirements. You know, sometimes it can take longer, some, you know, sometimes a little bit less. 
Don't you just love these guns? I bet you wish you could look at these guns up close and maybe start talking about taking one or two of them home with you. Well, you can. These gun makers and more are on Gun Makers Row at the Game Fair at Ragley Hall on the last weekend in July. So the Game Fair, what it does for us is it actually creates that interest. Um, and then generally that's followed up back at the shooting ground and obviously the workshops. Um, and obviously if a customer is interested then uh, the customer can go out and try the gun. Um, if, he, if he wants to purchase then obviously we can actually start the ball rolling and um, create a design brief and move forward from there. I just think, I think there's a lot of shooters there, a lot of people going through the door that appreciate shooting and appreciate fine work and fine guns. So I think they come to our stand and they can see what we're doing and they should appreciate the skill level. And hopefully they get an opportunity to maybe hold one and feel one and feel how well balanced and how well finished they are. For more about the Game Fair, go to gamefair.org. From a lovely English event in Warwickshire to the wider world of hunting and shooting on YouTube, it is Hunting YouTube. This is Hunting YouTube, which aims to show the best hunting and shooting videos that YouTube has to offer. Four deer hunts, three continents, starting with an excellent outing with Matt Webb, who solo films and hunts sambar deer in Australia. He butchers and cooks the venison too. The next deer stalking video is in Denmark. Alexander Rees calls in Roebuck to 100 metres and then shoots with a 180 grain Nozla ballistic tip bullet in 308. Does your dog run riot on deer? Jonas Breeder shows how to use this to your advantage by sticking a GPS tracker on the hound, then circling around with a rifle to where he expects the fleeing deer to break cover. It works! More deer in this from the USA. Dirt Tracks Television takes Yamaha Outdoors to go on a white tail hunt in Texas with industry icon Wade Middleton. Thanks to Tuck Portfleet from the Netherlands for his latest goose shooting film featuring his Labrador, Blink, and Happy Birthday Blink. Next up, rabbit shooting. Point of Impact TV is clearing rabbits for a landowner at distances over 180 yards with a 2 to LR and 17 HMR. We recently featured Matt Dubber on our new show Field Sports Africa and here is Matt featuring our guy Richard Leonard on his show. It's all about porcupine pest control in South Africa with different techniques for shooting at night. And finally Pokemon Go is the latest internet craze where you get to use your mobile phone to hunt animated animals in what they disdain to call virtual reality and throw augmented rocks at them. Maybe it will get the world's nerds a few tentative steps towards real rabbit shooting. Doing it in this video is YouTube's biggest star, PewDiePie. That's it for this week. If you have a YouTube film you would like us to pop into the weekly top eight, send it in via YouTube or email me the link charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. If you didn't like those, you have got to like our new clay sports show. We are at the Fitask World Championship in Italy. Find out what happens by clicking on the link on the screen. And we are back next week. If you haven't done so already, please go to our website, fieldsportschannel.tv, where you can click to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter or pop your email address into our constant contact box and we'll constantly contact you about this show and our other shows. This one's Field Sports Britain. It's at 7 pm UK time every Wednesday. And this has been Field Sports Britain. Good hunting, good cheating, good fishing, and goodbye.